All right, let's talk about something you probably use every single day, maybe without even thinking about it, your web browser. But what if it could do more than just show you websites? What if it could actually start to work for you? Well, Microsoft Edge just got this massive AI upgrade, and honestly, it's about to change how you do pretty much everything online. So let's dive right in with a question. Think about it for a second. Is your browser really working for you, or are you the one doing all the work? How much time do you spend on the little chores, like manually copying ingredients for a recipe, or juggling a dozen tabs just to compare two products? It really feels like we're doing all the heavy lifting. Well, that's all starting to change. The big idea here is that Microsoft Edge, with Copilot built in, is no longer just this passive window to the internet. It's becoming an active partner, you know, an assistant that can actually understand what you're trying to do and then do the boring chores for you. Okay, first up, let's see how this AI can actually start doing your chores. This feature is called Copilot Actions, and it's designed to take on those really tedious online tasks. We'll start with something simple, something we can all relate to, making cookies. So imagine you find the perfect cookie recipe online. Normally, you'd have to manually type every single ingredient into a grocery app. It's a pain. Now, you can just ask Copilot, order all the ingredients for this recipe on Instacart. And that's it. Copilot literally reads the web page, identifies every ingredient, finds them on Instacart, and adds them all to your cart automatically. Your browser just did your grocery shopping. And this isn't just about recipes, which is what's so cool. This same power can be used to, say, book a dinner reservation it sees on a restaurant's website, or help you manage your email, or even start putting together a weekend trip. Your browser is becoming a true doer. All right, next up, let's tackle a problem we have all faced. Comparison shopping. You know the deal. You're trying to buy a new mixer or something, and suddenly your screen is just this sea of open tops. Each one has different specs, different prices. It's total chaos. This right here is that moment of digital overload. You're clicking back and forth, trying to remember the motor power of one versus the bowl size of another. Your brain is the one doing all the work, trying to hold all this information, and it's, it's exhausting. But now, what happens when you ask Copilot for help? You can literally just say, compare my open tabs and tell me which mixer is best. In seconds, it takes all that chaotic information and synthesizes it into a single, clean, easy to read table. It pulls the key specs, it compares the prices, and it even gives you a recommendation for best overall or best value. But it doesn't just stop there. This is a conversation now. You can then ask follow-up questions about the things that really matter to you, like, okay, but which one is the quietest? Or which one has the best long-term reviews? And Copilot will dig back into those open tabs and find you the answers. It's like having a research assistant that lives right inside your browser. Okay, so let's talk about those bigger projects, you know, the ones that take more than one sitting, like planning a vacation. You might spend a few hours researching flights one day, and then a week later you're looking at hotels, and you just can't remember where you left off. It feels like all that progress is just gone. The solution for this is a feature called Journeys. See, Edge is now smart enough to recognize the pattern in what you're doing. It sees all these searches for flights to Montana, hotels in Whitefish, activities in the area, and it realizes they're all related. So it automatically groups them together into a single journey. And this isn't just some glorified history folder. This is where it gets really powerful. Copilot actively summarizes all that research for you. It can generate a potential itinerary, pull out top recommendations from the sites you visited, and even give you some pro tips. It remembers what you were doing so you don't have to. So these features are amazing for specific tasks, right? But what about the most fundamental thing we do online? Searching. Well, AI is making that smarter too by creating a browser that starts to understand your intent, not just the keywords you type. And this is a really key shift in thinking. The new search bar in Edge doesn't just blindly search the web for every single thing you type anymore. It actually analyzes your query to figure out what you're really trying to do. So for example, if you type best places to stay in Whitefish, it knows you probably want a list of links, you know, to hotels, booking sites, so it gives you a standard web search. But if you ask a direct question, like, what's the best time to visit Whitefish, it knows you want a direct answer, and it opens a co-pilot chat to give you one, right away. It's all about getting you to the right result faster. This leads us to our final new superpower, and this one really changes how you can interact with what's already on your screen. We've been talking about asking the browser to go find new information, but now you can ask it questions about the content of any web page you're currently looking at, and that includes videos. 
Using a feature called Copilot Vision, you could be on a YouTube video and ask, what's the general feeling in the comments on this page? And Copilot will literally read the screen and give you a real-time analysis. It'll tell you if the comments are positive, negative, or a mixed bag. It's like your browser suddenly has eyes and a brain. So there you have it, five AI superpowers that are really transforming your browser from just a simple tool into an intelligent partner. One that does your chores, compares products for you, remembers your research, and even understands what's on your screen. Honestly, this is just the beginning of a huge shift in how we interact with the web. And it leaves us with a pretty fascinating question to think about. If your browser can do your grocery shopping and analyze video comments for you today, what kind of partner is it going to be tomorrow? That line between us and our assistants is blurring really, really fast. Thanks for tuning in.